Hey, what is going on guys? I have here three wallet cases for your iPhone 11 Pro. I do believe that these are the best three wallet cases that I have out of like 20 other wallet cases. And these three here are all different in prices. So from the cheapest to the most expensive, okay? This one here I paid $10.99 for. This one here I paid $25.95. And this one over here is the most expensive, which comes in at $54.99. Now, the first thing I want to mention is all of these have an inner magnetic case, as you can see here. Now, I like these kind of wallet cases the best. And the reason is, is because if you're using a regular wallet case, you know, typically you have the ones that are stuck in here. If you wanted to go ahead and give somebody your phone to take a photo of you or you and your friends, you know, if you have a regular wallet case, you know, you don't want to give them the whole entire wallet case. You have your credit cards and your cash in there. And for sure, you don't want to sit there and have to, like, pry out your phone every single time. With these magnetic ones, you just pull it out, give them your phone just like that, let them take the photo, then they'll give it back to you, put it back in your case, and you're ready, ready to rock and roll. Very, very convenient. Another thing that I want to mention, too, is even though that there's a magnet on the back of all of these cases, all of these will charge your iPhone 11 Pro, no problem, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link below where you can get this uh, fast wireless charger as well. It's inexpensive and I had this one for almost two years and it's one of my better ones out of probably like 10, 15, 20 other wireless chargers that I have as well. Another important thing I wanna to note too is even though all of these have magnets back here, like I said, you can wirelessly charge um, using any one of these. However, if you're using one of these uh, magnetic car mounts in your car, you're not gonna be able to use any of these. Okay, because the, the, the metal in here is just not strong enough. The metal is just weak enough so that you're actually able to uh, wirelessly charge, okay? So just take note of that. Now I'm gonna go over each of these really quickly, and I'm also gonna tell you um, which one is my favorite out of these three, okay? So we'll start off with the cheapest one here. Again, like I said, I paid $10.99 for this one here. It comes in several different colors. And here's the uh, case. The inner case here, this one is by Wopin, and you can see it's like kind of a plastic here, plasticky here, and I'll show you the uh, inside of the case here. Just very generic. Again, this is only ten dollars and ninety-nine cent case, and it's like plasticky here, a little bit rubbery here, and you got your buttons that get covered in here as well. And we'll go ahead and pop this on here, and you can see the way this one looks here enough protection for you just to use it solo like this as well and you have a good strong magnet in here no problem we have three credit card slots in here everything goes in here no problem now the only thing I want to note about this case here is the magnets that you have here on the side it's kind of weak okay it's not so strong so the thing is with this case here is you can't use more than three credit cards okay if you use four credit cards you're going to have an issue with it like closing okay so there's four credit cards now sometimes, I mean, it's going to be kind of, it's just really not that strong, okay? So you really don't want to go more than uh, four credit cards. You want to go at least, I mean, have like a max of three credit cards, but of course you can carry some cash in there too. Here's four um, bills I have here, and we can go ahead and slip this into the um, side slot here, the cash slot. The only thing is with this one here, you can't really put it in like this, because if you do that, it's going to like, bend the cash like a little bit so you don't get like a nice flush close so what you have to do with this one here is just fold it another time like this and then we can go ahead and slide that in here and then it's good and ready to rock and roll okay again like i said this one's only ten dollars and 99 cents overall quality and everything is still definitely worth it you just can't use more than um three credit cards okay so just uh take note and you do have like a little kickstand on here as well you can kind of bring it down and watch it, a movie or whatnot. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to the Amovo wallet case here. I paid $25.95 for this one. I got the color in aqua, but it comes in a bunch of other colors as well. Here's the inner case here. As you can see, there's your logo. Cut out, everything is perfect on here. You got the buttons covered for the power button as well as the volume rockers. The buttons work perfectly perfect on these you have good cutouts on the bottom here for the speakers and charging port and good cutout for the camera lens 
Also, a great thing about this uh, case, this inner case here, actually, is you can see the lip is raised above the display or screen here. So, if you're just using this solo, so if you you know you if you don't want to, um, you're not going to scratch your lens or your uh, your uh, screen here on a flat surface because you have that raised edge on there. So the protection on this inner case alone is pretty good. And this is like vegan leather. It's basically fake leather, but I can tell you this, uh, the quality of this case, and I've had this brand before, this will still last you four or five years, no problem. And you got a magnet that's right here. And you also can put this one, and you can watch a movie or whatnot. You got that tilt stand, kickstand on here as well. Of course, like I said, all of these you're able to wirelessly charge, no problem. You just can't charge it on with the case. Another thing too is this one actually comes with a strap here. You can just pop that on there, but if you're a guy, you're probably not gonna be wanting to uh, use the strap. You have three credit card slots right here, and we have one with an open window on the bottom as well. And we also have a slide slot here for cash. Ooh, I got another card in here. Now this one here you can actually put, and this is only four bills here, okay? But with this case here, you can actually just fold it once like this and slide it in. This one here, remember, you had to like kind of like uh, fold it one more time. But this one here, this is a Mavo case, you can just put it in there and it is not going to crease the bills. So it's actually perfect on there, just like that. Good strong magnets too. And we can even put like additional cards in here. Let's put four credit cards in here. Let's go ahead and put just, we'll just put five, five credit cards in here. And you can see no problem with it like closing. A lot of the other cheaper uh, wallet cases, you have issues as soon as you start putting in more credit cards, it doesn't close or the magnet is, uh, you know, it's over here and, and this, the strap won't reach it all the way. So it keeps flapping open. Anyways, you can see you have no problem putting more cards in there. You have a magnet too that's actually on the back right here, oops. So it holds this little strap in place when you're watching a movie or whatnot, something like that. So yeah, overall, a really good case here. Okay, so moving over to the uh, most expensive case, which is this one right here. I paid $54.99 for this one. This one is by Wilkin. Now this one here is actually genuine um, cowhide leather. This is a uh, real leather, definitely real leather. The whole thing is leather here. You have good stitching here. You have three credit card slots. You also have another slot over here. Of course, like I said, all these are magnets back here. And I'll show you what the case here, inner case here looks like. You have a uh, rubbery TPU over here. You have some buttons. Uh, are going to be closed on here as well. Let me go ahead and grab my iPhone 11 Pro here. And you can see the cutout here is perfect on here. Everything looks good. And you have a nice leather pad back here as well. Cutout is good on the, um, on the camera. No problem with the buttons. You have good strong magnet on here as well. You're not going to have any issues. Of course, you're going to be able to uh, wirelessly charge as well. No problem. And I give you a better look at the uh, case here. You can see the logo right here. It comes in a bunch of different colors as well. Let me go ahead and slide some uh, cards in here. You have one that has a uh, open window. And we can go ahead and pop that on there. We'll go ahead and put the cash in there. The good thing with this one too, and I think like I said I only have four bills here. But this one here, all you gotta do is fold it once and you can just slide it in like that and it just goes in perfect. So just like this, when I fold it, it's not gonna fold or crease the bills, okay? It's perfect, as you can see right there. And of course, you know, you can put more credit cards in here. You can put one in the side here, put one here, but we can go ahead and do it. The magnet is like pretty strong on here, as you can see. So good overall quality. Real genuine leather on this one too. The uh, other ones are basically uh, pleather or fake um, flake leather. This Amavo is a vegan leather. Now the question is, I mean, all these are pretty good, okay? Different prices. Now, which one do I prefer out of all of these? I would definitely go, I mean, I don't care about having the genuine leather. I would just go with the one, this one here, the one that's the middle price. 
which I paid like almost $26 for. But this one here is just, it's even though it's vegan leather, I know this is going to last me three or four years. I've had this brand before uh, in the past. And I like the case here. It's, it's good, um, good protection. The uh, lip goes over the screen as well, which I like which I like if I just want to be able to use this like naked. So, and I, I like the way this like feels and yeah. So overall, my uh, number one pick would be this one, but still these three cases are all pretty good, but they vary in price as well. So there you guys go. Hope you guys found this uh, review informative. Any questions or anything, just uh, comment below. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.